Hi, I'm Milton Rendell and welcome to Real News Friday. Another big week um, in terms of sales in West Australia, 863 sales. Um, look, that was down in the previous week, but you've got to remember that was a hell of a spike that we had going over 1,300. So, um, but, you know, overall, it's certainly better than it was uh, three or four months ago, and it is above the average for week in any case traditionally. So, so the figures are looking pretty good in general. The uh, amount of stock on the market is just a tick over um, 10,300, which is still 30% less stock than there was 12 months ago. In terms of rentals, there's nine, uh, sorry, 3,963 on the market on the mar uh, at the moment. Uh, that's down 9% uh, of, of four weeks ago. So rentals are going out the door as well. So it's an interesting balance as I've mentioned in previous weeks and, and it's down 46% in the number of rentals than that were available 12 months ago. So there's plenty of positive there. Now, guess what? The sky is falling. Just ask realestate.com and all the other economists that um, this week they're all doom and glooming yet again. Um, yes, Melbourne's having its struggles and there's certainly some things happening in the Eastern States. Guess what? We're West Australia, we're still going okay, and things are going in the right direction. Um, careful what you focus on. Uh, once again, we've heard all these stories in the past, and yet uh, West Australia continues to thrive. And maybe I'm a complete optimist, but I still think going forward to West Australia, we're going to do quite well, and I still believe we're going to probably do it independent of the rest of the country. Um, there'll be plenty of people who will debate me on that, but um, certainly and it, I feel you know, feel sad about what's happening in Victoria and obviously parts of New South Wales and any Australian that's sick, we, we all feel, feel for that. But realistically, from a business point of view, from a real estate point of view, we seem to be going along just fine and we seem to continue to, to be growing. Um, and you look, you know, people talk about a second wave. We've had very little here. Look, I'm not the Premier or, and I don't have all the statistics, but from a real estate point of view, we seem to be going in the right way. Our inquiry rate is still through the roof. People are still inquiring. We're still getting good numbers through home opens. And um, we're basically, over a six week period, we're selling a property a day. So that would be a pretty clear indication that the market here is going okay. But hey, happy to debate with anybody that wishes to discuss it with me. Um, but I think we've got to look at our backyard and our backyard currently is moving along quite nicely. Um, just a couple of other things, you know, we're, as I've probably mentioned before, eventually uh, Real Estate Plus will be relocating to the new Catalyst building up on uh, Junction Parade. Uh, we're looking at that probably the end of August. Um, we were hoping to be end of July, but it looks like at the end of August, but the first opening for, um, for the display units will be aiming uh, at the first week of uh, August, and that's pretty well on track. Uh, we have a large amount of people inquiring on that, and uh, we've got over 50 people registered to, to visit it already so that's a very very encouraging um, certainly a sign that things are going well in, in our particular area and the interest is very good apart from that it's a fantastic building and it's uh, it's going to be um, set the trend for the for Midland going forward and I think uh, everyone locally should be very proud of what uh, um, they've done with this particular building because I think as it's called the catalyst I think it will be the catalyst for change in our immediate area uh, just on the last note Happy birthday to my sister Janet, Janet Williams. Happy birthday, have a beauty. I won't share your number because it's getting a bit large these days, but have a good one. Look forward to catching up with you. In the meantime, check out realestateplus.com.au and all the best.